That's right, Danny boy. <laughs> Duty Hush, Private Eye speaking. <laughs> huh? What? The big Sphinx robbery? I'll hop right on it. Come on, Seamus. Chief Muldoon just tossed a big masked robbery in our laps. That's right, Mr. QT. They got away with sixty million dollars. Sixty million dollars? That's right. Come, Seamus. Let's look outside for some clues. <laughs> No wonder. There's sand in them. Yeah. Smells salty like it came from the seashore. Seashore? Uh, seashore? Uh, seashore? That's it. Come. <laughs> mm, not much activity at this time of year. Yeah. Deader than a mackerel. Wow, cutie. Look at that swanky place. Yes, Seamus. That's Old Mother Love's tourist hotel. Quite a vacation spot in summer. Huh, sort of a sporty resorty, eh? <laughs> hmm, come, let's take a closer look around the old resort. <laughs> <laughs> That's the slickest job we ever pulled. Sixty million clients, huh, Joe? <laughs> Yeah, Daddy, and all this plush linen to boot. <laughs> right, Mac? <laughs> Wait a minute. There's some snoops nosing around the garage where we hit the armor truck. Hmm. These match the tire prints we found at the scene of the robbery. Yeah, and they lead right into that garage. Let's check it. Hurry, you guys. Let's get rid of them creeps. Look, Seamus, the stolen armored car. Here they are. Grab them. Oh, okay, funny rabbit. Start the truck. The exhaust fumes will take care of them guys. Come on, let's get out of here. <laughs> Those are poisonous exhaust fumes. <laughs> Will our heroes solve this problem? Watch for the next exciting episode of QT Hush. My latest caper started amidst the carefree Halloween masquerade party, where a trio of masked merrymakers made a merry haul of $60 million from the Sphinx Armored Car Service. Naturally, this impossible case was assigned to me, QT Hutch, Private Eye. Assisted by Seamus, my private nose, we followed a clue to investigate Mother Love's Seashore Resort. Here, we found ourselves inside an exhaust-filled garage, helplessly tied beneath the stolen armored truck's running motor, where we were left to become gas pixiate. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy! Here's a chance to use my nose! <sighs> Phew! Saved by a nose! Got the Sphinx case all tied up, QT? No, but we were! Hmm. To catch these masked thieves, we may have to resort to a little masquerade of our own. What do you mean, QT? We are going to check into Mother Love's tourist resort. I will be Cornelius J. Vanderhush, an oil tycoon. You, Quincy, will be my valet, and Seamus, my pet hound dog. <laughs> I'm coming. Madam, I am Cornelius J. Vanderhush. I would like to register for a suite. All right. <clears throat> I'm sorry, but your dog will have to be consigned to the kennels. I'm sure I won't mind. 
You won't mind. <laughs> this is good strategy, Seamus. While Quincy and I cover the inside, you keep your nose outside. Yeah. Uh, come, Fido. <laughs> and, uh, uh, I have a confession to make, Mother Love. Yes? I am Private Eye, QT Hush. Indeed. I have reason to believe the Scavenger Hill mob that pulled the Sphinx robbery are here. Really? I may need your help, but keep this in your strictest confidence. Yes, Mr. Hush. Come, Quincy, take me to my room. Uh, uh, yes, sir. Here they come now. Stick them up, hush. What the? Somebody must have tipped them off. Into that icebox, you guys. You're getting too hot on our trail. And this should cool you off. <laughs> Quincy, <laughs> we're trapped. <laughs> we'll be frozen alive. <laughs> Heroes solve this problem. Watch for the next exciting episode of QT Hush. <laughs> I am QT Hush, Private Eye. Assisted by the super-sensitive nose of my assistant, Seamus, and the topmost criminologist mind of my shadow, Quincy, I have gained international fame as the world's most effective detective. My latest assignment, which I call the Big Masquerade Caper, led me to the friendly Mother Love Seashore Resort. And here, what I thought would be my hottest case was quickly cooled by the Scavenger Hill mob as we found ourselves locked inside a deep freeze left to become human ice cubes. <laughs> Are we going to see you? What sense of smell prompted you to sneak up here? Smell, smell! Food man, food! I'm starved! It's all yours, Seamus. Have some cold cuts. Come, Quincy. Let's have a chat with Mother Love. Good day, Mr. Vanderhush. I trust you're enjoying your stay. Hmm. I'll come to the point, Mother Love. Someone in this hotel has tipped off the masked mob that we're here. Goodness me, who? At the moment, I don't know. But I'll find out, or my name isn't Q.T. Hush. If it wasn't for that hungry mutt, we'd be in a clear. Yeah, Danny. What were they disappeared to? I just saw him in a recreation room having a game of billiards. Oh, yeah? Well, come here, boys. Got an idea. Now, listen, this is what we're going to do, see? We're going to take my little fellow, one of my boys, and put him with me. Ah, good day, gents. Uh, anybody for billiards? Yes, my good man. As soon as I finish this game with my valet. Swell. Um, uh, read the papers about the big Sphinx robbery? No, I haven't. Well, I won the game, QT. See you later. Right, Quincy. They think they got a line on them Sphinx robbers. The masqueraders got away with 60 million bucks. Ah, yes. Most interesting case. <laughs> hmm. Looks like I'm a little rusty today. Uh, excuse me a minute while I make a phone call. You go first. Thank you, my good man. I shall. <laughs> So, just like we planned, I fitted the stick of dynamite to the point of his cue stick, see? And when he hits that ball, he won't know what hit him! Will our hero solve this problem? Watch for the next exciting episode of QT Hush! <laughs>
I, QT Hush, have many times found myself in a hot spot, but never a cold spot, such as the one I was pulled out of by the icebox raiding habit of my assistant, Seamus. But evidently, our escape had been witnessed by the masked mob, who began to plot another plan to remove me, as their leader later led me to loiter in an apparently friendly game of billiards. As usual, I was on the ball, but this time I found myself behind the eight ball, as little did I realize I was stuck with a capped cue stick loaded with dynamite. <laughs> Quincy, you saved my life. Wow, cutie. Uh, what happened? I don't know. But I can see they really mean business. Something went wrong. Hurry! <coughs> Boys, this cutie hush is getting too hot on our tail. That's right, Danny boy. The sooner we blow with a dough, the better. Right, Mac? Right, Joe. We better start moving some of the loot. Yeah, tonight. <laughs> Ah, hello, Seamus. Care for a little snack? It's about time, QT. I'm starved. Care for a little walk near the seashore, Seamus? Yeah. Hurry up, Joe. Hurry. What the? Animals running like people. Come on, QT. Let's investigate. Quick, into the bathhouse. We can peek out through the ventilator. <laughs> Hold it, boys. I think I saw someone sneak into that end bathhouse. With all this loot at stake, we can't take any chances. Leave them to me. It's that masked gang, all right. What are they doing, QT? Hush. He's off, Mick. Yay! What the? They lassoed our bathhouse. Hang on, QT! Right, Seamus. When we reach shark-infested waters, I'll cut them loose. Look, Danny, there's some sharks. Yeah. <laughs> no, 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 look, Seamus. Sharks. Sharks? Yes, sh 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 sharks. And this waterlogged bathhouse is sinking. We're going to be shark bait. We'll be eaten alive. Mark, do something. You see, Hush calling. I'm a private eye. Mother away. Will our hero solve this problem? Watch for the next exciting episode of QT Hush. <laughs> is Mother Love's Seashore Resort, where I, QT Hush, posing as QT Vander Hush, was hot on the trail of the big masquerade Sphinx robbers. While taking a midnight stroll on the beach, Seamus and I were aghast at animals running like people. Continuing our investigation, we cleverly concealed ourselves to get a closer look. But it was evidently us who had been spotted as we found ourselves being lassoed and dragged to be dunked out into the open sea where we were left alone to be devoured by private eye-eating sharks. Look, QT, a helicopter! Huh? Why, it's, 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 it's... Why, QT, why, Seamus? Quincy! Hurry, grab this line! We almost lost their trail. Yeah, and I almost lost my tail. Come, Quincy. Let's continue our investigation. <laughs> now that we got rid of those kinds, we can ship the loot across the border. Yeah, then we can live a life of ease. Quiet. What's that noise out in the hall? 
And furthermore, Quincy, as I suspect, these villains have been explanatory on the other side. No, it's guilty heart! Who? <laughs> Quiet, you boobs! As I was saying, Quincy, the boat the robbers used is now tied to the dock. Yeah? Well, let's investigate it, QT. They said they were going to investigate our boat. Get your masks. Let's give this boat a good going over, Quincy. Ah, huh. Look, footprints matching those at the Sphinx Company garage. Then the boat does belong to the mask gang. Come, Quincy. Let's notify Chief Muldoon. Here they come. Grab for the legs. What the? What? Oh, 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 Quincy, I can't move. Uh, I'm tied up, too. Guilty. The tide is rising. Help. Oh, no. Well, boys, it's almost high tide. Yeah, high tide, and our two little pigeons are hog tied. <laughs> Will our heroes solve this problem? Watch for the next exciting episode of QOT Hush! <laughs> Thanks to the ever-alertness of my assistant, Quincy, I, QT Hush, was saved in the nip of time from being devoured by the razor-like jaws of private eye-eating sharks. Later, at Mother Love's Lodge, Quincy and I were unaware that we were spotted while planning to investigate a suspicious boat near the dock. Here, we found footprints which matched those at the scene of the crime. Now, ready to wrap up the case, we suddenly found ourselves wrapped up as we helplessly awaited the rapidly rising tides to drown out our last breath of life. <laughs> <laughs> huh? I thought I heard Quincy yelling from the beach. I'd better investigate. <laughs> You rescued us just in time. <coughs> yeah, my buddy. Oh, gee, fellas. That must be Mother Love. You mean it's Rosie the Rake. Hi, Rosie. Now listen, Danny. Oh, drag this mask. Look, boys, either you get rid of those silly detectives or I'll... Easy, Rosie. You've got to give us time. Just remember, this whole masquerade caper was my idea. I just hope QT doesn't suspect me. Oh, oh no, no not, not you, Rosie. Well, I'll see you later, boys. I have a hot dinner waiting for Mr. Hush. Yes, Mother Love, I have reason to believe the masked men who pulled the Sphinx robbery are right here in this hotel. Oh, mercy! You must be jesting! No, Mother Love, and furthermore... Quincy, see who's at the door. It's the chef, sir. I had Pierre prepare something a little special. I'm sure you'll get a big bang out of it. See you later. Toodaloo. The turkey, she is superb, madame. And the stuff on is simply dynamite. Yes. <laughs> yes. Ah, so much for the salad. Now, how about some turkey, Quincy? Uh, you can serve me all white meat, QT. Yes, Quincy. And I'll take mine dark. 
will our hero solve this problem? Watch for the next exciting episode of QOT Hush! <laughs> Although I had a sinking feeling about this case, Seamus had pulled strings which revived my interest in continuing the search for the big Sphinx robbers. I now knew that I didn't know, that they knew I didn't know what I should have known, but didn't know because I knew that they knew that I... Hmm? But anyway, I was later treated to a bang-up meal in my spacious suite by the generosity of my kindly hostess, Mother Love. And what a turkey it was as I began to carve out the end of my career. QT, are you all right? Yes, Quincy. What happened? That bird must have been stuffed with TNT. Evidently, I put too much pressure on the knife and fork. Yeah, the turkey blew down instead of up. Yes, Quincy. Someone must have tampered with our meal when Mother Love wasn't looking. Quick, Quincy, get Seamus and meet me at the pier. What's up, Quincy? I don't know. QT wants to see us on the pier. Hello, Seamus. How's your smeller tonight? Frankly, I smell terrible. Seamus, give this boat a good sniffing and see if you can trace any scent to any person in the hotel. Aye, aye, sir. <laughs> Look what I found, QT. Swimming trunks. Good boy, Seamus. Let's get back to Mother Love's seashore at Shore sea, seashore, shore, seashore Lodge. Mother Love, I would like to inspect the hotel's laundry room. Oh, yes. It's just down the hallway, cutie. <laughs> uh -huh. Here it is. Seamus, we'll start with this clothesline first. You mean I gotta snip through this whole laundry? That's Rosie's secret knock. I'll find out what she wants. Listen, Danny, I've kind of like funny. I don't understand, but he's looking for the laundry room. Come on, boys. Here we are. And there they are. What the? Yay! That's it, Mac. Put in lots of soap. Help! A dryer. Let us out of here. Later, Snooper. After they're all washed up. <laughs> Will our hero solve this problem? Watch for the next exciting episode of QOT. Hush! <laughs> This is the Sphinx Armored Car Service, which recently had been robbed of $60 million by three masked men on Halloween night. And this is Mother Love's Seaside Seashore Lodge, a highly respected summer resort where my trail of clues has led me. Upon further investigation of a suspicious boat moored at a nearby pier, Seamus uncovered a piece of evidence which led us back to the hotel laundry room. Here, we were suddenly attacked, sacked, and packed to be rubbed, tubbed, and scrubbed. Quiet! 
I hear someone coming. No, 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 no. <laughs> Let's get out of here. What an odd place to take a bath. I shall report this to the management. Oh, my. You may not realize it, lady, but you have just saved our lives. Phew. If it wasn't for that dame, we'd have wrenched them out of our hair. We gotta think of something to get rid of them for good. I got it. You know that east side job we're planning? Well, let's have private eye QT <laughs> hush pulling for us, huh? Yeah. Now fetch me the pipe and a fancy hat. Right, Mr. QT hush. <laughs> okay, boys. Now let's get going for that east side bank job. Huh? But, but, but how can he... Uh, when, he when he's up... Uh, uh, I... No. Now remember, boys, this bank has a camera to take pictures of anybody messing around. Uh. There's the bank now. This is gonna be a snap. <laughs> X-ray, X-ray, read all about it. Hidden camera reveals bank robbed by QT Hush, private eye, X-ray. QT Hush robbing a bank? I never knew the private eye business was that bad. Chief Mardone speaking. That's right, Chief. We followed the masqueraders to the scene of the crime. I'm hot on their tail now. I knew somebody was tailing us. Let him have it, Mac. Yeah, somebody shot our tires. We're out of control. Look out for that fire hydrant. Yeah! Will our heroes solve this problem? Watch for the next exciting episode of QOT Hush. Just as I, QT Hush, thought my career was about washed up, I was rescued by a helpful hotel guest. Meanwhile, in a nearby room, a vicious scheme was being planned by the three masqueraders to blame me for a crime which I didn't do. Or did I? Oh, I couldn't. But I must have, because suddenly, the name of QT Hush was splattered across the country as private eye, public enemy number one. Soon, everyone was on my tail, including the Sphinx robbers, as they ripped off my retreads with a hail of bullets which sent me careening out of control. Oh. Hey, hey, hey. That's right, boys. Let's sail back to the seashore and Mother Love's Lodge. Oh, hello, Mr. Vanderhuis. Good day, Mother Love. Any mail for me? No, Mr. Vanderhush. Oh, say, did you catch those nasty burglars yet? Not yet, but I hope too soon. That's great, fellas. You're a real good idea using that QT. Hey, Hello, what's this? <laughs> what would you not do? You look like... That east side bank job we pulled makes a nice bonus. Come on, boys. Let's go downstairs for a little game like this. Like Quincy, the, the masked mob are, are in this room. I have an idea. Hurry, they're coming. <laughs> Well, Quincy, did you do as I told you? Uh, yeah, QT. I hid the microphone in the room, right over the table. Good boy, Quincy. Now we'll wait for them to return. <laughs> ah, here they come. <laughs> now we'll be able to listen in on their conversation. <laughs> if they only knew. <laughs> oh, oh. Somebody bugged this room. With a loudspeaker yet. <laughs> Hey, that laugh sounds like those goofy private eyes. 
I can't seem to hear anything, Quincy. Now that I replaced the wires, let them have a listen. Huh, Joe? What happened? Oh, what did you say, QT? I must complain to Mother Love about these noisy tenants. Let's take the elevator down, Quincy. Looks like they're going down to the lobby. Let's call Rosie, uh, Mother Love. She'll know what to do. Elevator? Don't worry, Danny. Mother Love will take care of everything. Ah, here comes the elevator now, Quincy. Now! What the? The elevator's gone up. And we're going down there. Will our heroes solve this problem? Watch for the next exciting episode of QT Hush! <laughs> Is it the quiet and serene setting of Mother Love's Seashore Lodge, which turned out to be the hideout of the masquerade robbers? Due to a boo-boo, Quincy had bungled the bugging of the burglar's room with a loudspeaker instead of a microphone, which crushed me with a crashing crescendo. This prompted me to complain to Mother Love about my noisy neighbors, who, unbeknown to me, had placed a mysterious call to a mysterious person who switched my course headlong down an elevator shaft towards a deep, dark doom. <laughs> Phew. Luckily, the bottom of this elevator shaft is below sea level. Yeah, and this water that saved us must have come through that tunnel. Come, Quincy. Let's wait out of here. Yay! Oh, it's you, QT. Yes, Seamus. And just in time, too, because I just saw the masked gang carrying bags of money out of here, headed towards the dock. They must be making their getaway. Quickly, we must stop them before they get over the border. Hurry, boys, here they come. Let's get out of here. Oh, no! They have Mother Love as a hostage. Don't worry, I'll save you. Mother loves pies. We must save her. Full speed ahead, Quincy. Aye, aye, sir. Look, a police boat. Yeah, it's heading right for us. That's Chief Muldoon. Look out, boys. We're gonna crash. I don't understand, Chief. How did you get here? We've had our suspicions about Mother Love's resort for some time now, QT. What? But Mother Love is a wonderful, kindly person. You mean she's the wonderful brains behind the masquerade mob? Oh, no. And to think that I, QT, hush. Oh, well, Chief. At least I recovered the money. What money? It's at the bottom of the ocean. And that's where we're gonna be if we don't start swimming. You must have overloaded the boat, QT. I know, Quincy. Whee! I can dog paddle! Look, QT! Hush. I'm in conference. And furthermore, what about me boat? Yes, Chief. And me uniform! I know, Chief. And me rusty badge! But, Chief... And me signs! Right, Chief. This is your last case! I suspected that, Chief. <laughs> 